welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a crochet tutorial today. So we're switching it up and thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. That is actually crazy. Like, I'm so grateful for every single one of you who watch my videos, like, comment anything. It's just unbelievable to me and thank you for this Christmas gift. And to celebrate, I will be posting a video every day for a whole week. I don't know, like I can do it, I know, but it's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it. So the first video is a bucket hat tutorial. I've got a couple requests for this, but I just never got around to it. So I also have the written pattern available on my website right now, and I'll put a link in my description box, and you can learn how to make one of these. And I just find written patterns easier to follow, so you can also follow what I'm saying, but you can also look at it on a paper too if you get the pattern. Um, so let's just jump right into the video. To start off, you'll need 100% cotton yarn. I'm using the color black and a four millimeter crochet hook. First, we're gonna make a magic ring and we're gonna half double crochet five. Once you're done the row, you're gonna turn the project over, insert your hook into the very first stitch. Can be a little tricky the first time. And then insert your hook into the loop, the working loop, and then just pull it through the first stitch. And there you can join your row. And this is the special slip stitch I use. And then you can chain one after that and start your new row. Now I'm gonna be increasing in each stitch. So from the magic ring of five, you're gonna end up with 10 half double crochets in the next row. Once again, you wanna do a slip stitch to join the row. So I'm inserting, I turned my project over, I'm inserting the hook into the very first stitch, grabbing the working loop and putting it and pulling it through. And now I wanna turn the project over and then chain one. And here you're just gonna keep increasing the circle until you're happy with the diameter of it. So I am going to increase in each stitch again. So from 10 half double crochets, you're gonna have 20 half double crochets. And then after that row, you want to half double crochet one and then increase, half double crochet one and then increase to create 30. And then you wanna half double crochet two and then increase, half double crochet two and increase and then get 40, 50, 60 and eventually 70. So now I'm just taking a ruler and I'm measuring the diameter of the circle. It's really blurry, but here I measured six and a quarter inches for the diameter and I am happy with that size. For me, I would probably make that a medium and then six and a half would be a large and six inches would be a small. So now we're just gonna crochet in the back loops only around the entire circle. So you're not increasing at all. And here you can see that I'm putting it into the back loop and catching the second, like you wanna go through two yarns, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it. Sorry, this camera quality is kind of bad. I had to zoom in a lot. Um, but yeah, just crochet in the back loops. You can also search up a tutorial if you still don't understand. <laughs> Me wind and rain 
crouching down and trying to show you how to do it on the white background, so. Um, I finished 10 rows. You can also make it... double crochet and then put it on only the front loop it's pretty self-explanatory um, you can find some tutorials online but really you just yeah just going on the front loop and don't increase just half double crochet in every single stitch and we will increase in the row after I just finished crocheting around the front loops only and now you want to start increasing again so I left off by increasing one two three four five six so I half double crocheted six and then I increased so for this row now I'm going to half double crochet seven and then increase and you just want to do this until you get to your desired rim length so i usually like to do seven rows for the rim and then i will show you how i ended off so i finished crocheting seven rows um this is probably a really bad color to do a tutorial on but um i hope you can still understand so after you're done with the seven rows which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can just take a pair of scissors and chop the excess off. Kind of hard to do in the air. Come on. There we go. Oh my goodness. You know what I forgot? I forgot to join. Don't forget to slip stitch. So slip stitch it once more. So you have it like this, and then you want to pull it through completely. And just end it off, so you have this. And then I like to secure it with an extra knot. So, just like a regular knot. And then tighten it so it's close to the first knot. I just like this for extra security. So after you have the extra knot, you're basically done. And this is your finished bucket hat. Um, I like to weave in the ends just so it's cleaner. So we have this end we have to weave in. And then we also have the end in the middle of it. You can just take a darning needle. It looks like this. Slip the yarn right through the darning needle. And I like to go along the slip stitch seam here can you even see it hopefully here yeah i just like to weave it and just weave it in until there's no more showing then just pull it through and then if there is like an excess tail still that then you can just chop it off and then we can do the same thing for the end so just thread it through the darning needle and then going along the slip stitch seam again and just pull it through and then I'm just gonna cut the excess yarns off this 
comparisons are pretty dull. So I like to tug on it a little bit so it like scrunches up and then I like to cut it and then I like to stretch it out again and then the, the string is just tucked in. Just so like I can cut it close still but without risking cutting the actual project that is always a big fear of mine like imagine working 15 hours on something and then you just cut the middle that would be a nightmare honestly i would cry so this is the completed bucket hat if you made one along with me congrats you have a new hat but if you didn't and want to try it in the future it's pretty easy it's a little tricky to follow for absolute beginners but this is how you grow as a crocheter to crochet things that are a little bit more advanced than your level. So I really hope you do give this hat a try. You can make so many different colors. I personally use the brand Lily Sugar and Cream, but I think Burnett, Burnett, I don't know, Handcrafter yarn is also the same. It's 100% cotton, so I found that cotton is the best for these types of hats because it's pretty stiff and it keeps its structure well, and it's also very durable and lasts long. So this is the end of one of seven videos, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, and see you in my next one, I guess, tomorrow. <laughs> Bye!